Hello everybody, welcome back to The Walking Dead. This is uh, Season 1, Episode 2. If you haven't seen uh, Episode 1, obviously, go watch it so that way you know what's going on. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep this intro nice, short, and sweet. It says Episode 1, but we're playing Episode 2, Starved for Help. Hey, future me here. If you want to see the uncensored version of all of this, um, basically each episode unedited, that will be under the membership tab. It would be the first tier. Um, there's obviously some things in this game that I cannot show on YouTube because it's very bloody and gory. Also, this is a warning. This is the uh, a little warning. There are some graphic uh, contents in this game. And uh, yeah, and enjoy the episode. What's going on here? Three months later? Oh, okay. What's Damn up? It. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Damn. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Who is Trust this? Me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but Mark. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Ah. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, she did lose, like, her yeah, you're lover, right. I guess. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. But we'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, oh, Kenny's they're still been at talking the inn. about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got family He's got to look wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily mm -hmm. thinks he's getting weaker. But the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, he did a little number on me. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. Can I kill the bird? Am I actually gonna try to? Or oh, Mark is. Can you make that shot? It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me, if I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. You missed. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Great. Run. Damn. Ah! Is somebody getting eaten? Oh my god. Oh, it's a bear trap. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Buddy, you, you might have lost the leg. Maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a We're not bear trap you. out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, True. Fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Uh, we'll try. Gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. <gasps> Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Ah, damn. Oh, no. Oh, Shit. great. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. 
Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Uh. Please hurry. Do I have to cut his leg off? Oh God, Lee, do something. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Oh. Try to cut the chain. Can I cut the chain? I'm sorry, bro. Oh, that is so bad. Oh. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Damn. I knew this would be bad, but I didn't think it'd be that bad. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Ah! Bro, Travis, move, man! No! What an intro. Jesus. Wow. Okay. That that really does give you an idea of how uh how probably the majority of the game's going to go. Cut off a dude's leg. Yeah, and uh, I said it before in the last episode. I I would never be able to survive a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, stop kicking that can, damn it. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What? What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, your mouth. I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died. died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together. To when survive. did Mark the show up? The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. Oh. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Okay. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't True. your own personal dictatorship uh -huh. oh come on you're being dramatic everything always turns into a power struggle between you two i'm not going to be a part of that oh the group's hey, falling apart i didn't ask to lead this group everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around but now that it's running out suddenly i'm a goddamn nazi it doesn't matter who's in charge those people are here now i guess we just have to decide what happens no next. lee it does matter one person can't be in charge of everything. You know, uh, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. Oh, uh, no. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah. Well, let me just hit him with the butt of my gun. Oh, wait, I don't have a gun. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Wait, what? Is that half of an apple? What did we have? Wait, wait, what? You only have four food items for ten hungry people. 
Oh my god. Well, I'm not giving it to Lenny. You're out of your damn mind on that one. I'm gonna give it to the kids. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna give it to, uh, definitely Clementine. Maybe Duck. Oh boy. It's gonna make me choose, huh? Who's this? I'm gonna give one to Clementine. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. Ew. Piece of jerk. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? I guess I'll give the little shit some food. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? I gave you half an apple. Brother, what the fuck is that face? Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? Duck. What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. I'm sorry, Lou. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Uh, sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. No okay, worries. Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. All right, who, who's who's next? Will you hold the damn board steady? Oh, I'm not I'm giving trying. it to you. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. I'm not giving him food. Yeah, not a chance am I giving him food. Wait, I found Clementine's hat. Wait, I see the hat. I see. I see. What is this? Why am I looking at, at least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Is that not her hat? Right here? Oh, it's not a hat. It's a fucking can. Where's Kenny in him? Let me give my boy Kenny some food. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yes. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. And I'm probably gonna- I, Realistically, I'm probably gonna give- Keep the last piece of food for yourself. I'm gonna give it to you know, somebody some else. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah, I'll be a very nice guy. See, the thing is, I'm not gonna give it to the new guy. I'm probably gonna give it to these, like, these four right here. Just Carly, I'll just give it to How's Carly. it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. I am playing favorites, goddammit. What, you want the food? Lily? I don't wanna give it to Lily, man. I don't give a damn. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Okay. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Guess I'll keep it to myself? Or can I not keep it to myself? So I can't give it to Carly. Fine, Lily, you get the fucking rations. Here. I don't want anything from you. Fine, don't eat. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Duck? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Yep. I- Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Alrighty. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. It won't let me keep the food. It is, it's making me want to- It's making me have to give it to somebody. I'm not giving it to the- To the old dick face. I don't care. First chance I get, I'll, I'll sacrifice him. Uh, I guess I'll give it to Mark. Here, eat something. Sorry. No! I'm sorry. Wait. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? <sighs> yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I meant to give him the food. I didn't mean to hit A. Give axe to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. I don't you give didn't a damn. think to give me the axe? 
Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Fuck you. Oh my gosh. I don't want to be nice to him. Oh, but what if he helps in the future? Fine, you old bastard. I'll give it to you. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. I'm sorry. <sighs> Shouldn't have gave him the food. Fucking dickhead. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Of course. It would be too Ken, easy. Ken, Lee! Come here, please. Okay. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. The fuck Ken, did you come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Damn, he died. Oh, what about the other kid? Oh, shit! The axe! Hurry! Oh, my God. What is this camera angle? What is this camera angle? The axe! Hurry! Okay. Get up! Get the fuck off me! Use left stick to get away. Oh my god, can somebody please help me? Damn. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the what? hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. What? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Wait, what? Really? We're all infected? We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Damn. Okay. Back off! Who, who are Whoa, these? Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Uh, we don't, we want, don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Not Looks like me. you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. You're gonna Why make do me you pick? need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? 
We got plenty at the dairy. Oh, damn. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Okay. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Uh, sure. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most oh of the cattle, boy. but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. So four of us is going? Nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Uh, me as a leader? they'd want me for a leader? Sure, everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past? Yes. Does anyone else know? Uh, Larry knows. Larry knows. Great, that can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? Uh... I'm here whenever you want to talk. I don't know what happened. I should talk to the group about it. I don't know what happened. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. So... Not sure everyone would... So my wife cheated on me with the senator and I killed the senator? See it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Oh, Where no. are you from? Uh... I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Why are you... Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. I don't... Well, I don't like that they're each asking. Other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's these been guys don't. The dairy for these guys don't. Uh, I'm, I'm not trusting these guys. Now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No what? one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who Calm raided down, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were well, hungry, and you guys were keeping it there's all for yourselves. Them. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! My God! Asshole. Well, let's kill or be killed out there. Going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. That's uh unfortunate for homeboy there. It's a nice little Here farm. It is. Saint John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume yeah, that's you a need lot. gas. You need a lot of gas in order to keep that thing going. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome hey, Brenda. to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They mm. got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. 
Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Bake fresh this morning. Ooh. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. You have a Your cow? cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! This doesn't Maybe seem our right. whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Huh. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you oh. in a while. So it's just me and Mark? Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Now you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's okay. got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, let's make sure the place is safe. We should do whatever we can to help out. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay. So, I, do I gotta talk to old homeboy Andy? This mofo just said pointy. Is this Andy? Hey, man. Hi. Hello. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. So he's got multiple? Are we your first we guest? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. You found out the oats have stayed at the farm. Let's go fix the perimeter. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. All right. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay, if we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, Wait, what? I'm, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. 
Oh. There's one. Ugh. Yeah, ugh, indeed. Holy. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's useless without gas. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. All right, cool. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. And the post. Can you get off? Get off. Oh! You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. We're just gonna leave the hands there? Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Uh, We'll go. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. I was about to say, like, Come I, on. I didn't I think I see where any food in. for myself. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> oh, hell. I don't know about that one, Mark. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh! oh! What the? Get to the gate. What the fuck? Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. These are raiders. No With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Fuck you, dumb bitches! Up, get closer! I got you now. I see him. Hold on, can I get this? Already got one of you. Where's our food, you assholes? Push tractor? Can I push it? Can I not push it? You didn't deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take what's ours. Oh shit! Take that. Come on. Now we can push it. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Shit, that hurts. All right, I'll use the tractor. Holy, Mark! Mark, you're going a little too fast, there, buddy. Did you really think you fuck with us? What about all arrangements? What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Move it. How do we move it? Move it. All right, we moved it out of the way. Oh my god, another one. another one? How many of those things did we push down? Get closer. I have no idea, but we need to move Shit. this mofo. Get him out of the you. way. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, shit! You okay? Yeah, barely. Come on. The gate's right there. Gate's right where? Wait! Why is he getting on? There we go. Thank you. Let's get out of here. So it doesn't seem like they keep up their. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. It it seems it seems though these people don't hold up their end of the deal. Lee, what's wrong? It was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit! Are are you okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama. Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But god damn, it hurts. 
Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Oh, well, great. You must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God but damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. Okay. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. True. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Yep. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. Yeah, you, sure you Real do. You charm, really... Dad. Yep. Where's Ben and Carly? Food's a big Since Carly ass. and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, Carly stayed? I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids Adorable. go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Sure you are, as we get attacked by fucking arrows. Alright, let me use the gate. I'm gonna go do the bandit thing real quick of him. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No yeah. shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save big us. box? Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Let's yeah. go. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll all stay right. here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. True. Oh, Clementine, wait. Don't. Please stay behind the fence. Please don't tell me she's gonna follow us. See anything? Not yet. Alright, we're supposed to do reconnaissance, I so I shouldn't here. have to kill him. It's gotta be close. Just wondering where they got all these snipers. Oh shit, you found it? But nobody's here. Right? Oh. Uh Sneak up to the camp. Okay, it looks like I have to go forward. You see anybody? No. I can't say that it's like Watch my back, Lee. I'm going to check out the tent. This feels like a trap cuz it looks like they were they left in a hurry. Cuz they're probably waiting for us to check it out, think it's safe, then we're going to ambush. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. 
Okay. Uh, save lots box. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Uh. Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Is there cans and empty cans in there? St. John's Dairy. Yep, there it is. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Why does it feel like it's more... Wait, what? What is that? Pick up what camera. What find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's what do you mean? Oh, no good. Anything useful, and then wait, move on. wait, 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 wait. I feel. I, I see move. you handled that gun. I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right? You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. There's no way her hat's here. Ah oh, man. Bloody bunny. No way Clementine's hat's here. Wait, what? The hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. How is Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. You steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who is you? Why Look, did you It's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. Oh, you're great. Me. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Where did take you- a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What do you mean? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Oh my then god. I'll head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Please don't make me Go shoot on. you. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for. Ugh. Oh shit. Oh shit. God damn it. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. How did she steal Clementine's hat? It's a clean shot though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. I still don't trust those dairy people. They don't want Man, us knowing their dirty little ride, secret. Huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. What you mean, handled it? This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Well, then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Wow, there's so much drama. 
What's going on with them? What's going on with them? Exactly. Don't know. Squad. I swear to you, I don't know what they're about to say. With y'all, huh? Yeah, you yeah, can say, say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. When we gonna Lee, eat? Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch mm. again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. I saved your cow. Alright. Well, let me give Clementine her hat. Did I pick up the hat? Hello. Hey, Clementine. How'd you close the door? I did pick up that. Alright, cool. Let me go give that to Clementine real quick. Bonk, 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 bonk. Let me in. Please don't shoot me. Hello. How y'all doing? What? How did? Why did? How did it get darker? Y'all having fun with the cow? It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. The cow ain't gonna do much. You think the cow can turn into zombie? Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? Did you? I don't know. You licked it, didn't you? Alright, let me give her her hat. Let me give her her hat. Here, Clementine. Found your hat. Which is odd that I found My it. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? What? What? Uh... Uh... I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. That is a well, wild thanks for question. Finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, Shh. but you go on ahead. Okay. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. What? Okay. How's the cow? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Is Larry spitting oh, game? How does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. That damn Larry's trying to spit some game. What is it? Toolbox? Oh, I could have talked to her. Wait, there's pliers. Uh, Multi tool. That should be handy. Let me take that real quick. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. They won't notice. I see, uh, I see her over there. I'll, I'll go talk to her, see what's up with her. Talk to Lily. Let me go talk to Lily. I'm glad I got that multi-tool. It might come in handy. Or might get me in trouble. Who knows? What's going on with you? Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Uh, we found... We found the tin and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? We were... What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. 
He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? What? I don't know. If we oh. just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I guess. How about it's been you? three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, kind of don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Uh. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. Uh -huh. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I respect that, but still, he doesn't need to be a great A asshole. Do you get that feeling sometimes? Something's, or something's going on here? Something's going on here. What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, that's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. Tell I know her. What you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. Why won't you, you tell her? Me, we should just get our dinner and leave. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Brother, I should. Why didn't I tell her? Um. I guess let me intrude the the old couple. We'll uh. We'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Yeah. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. Okay. Why would I ever say, why are you out here instead of cooking? How's Mark How's doing? How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. We met a woman at camp? Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What really? That That's the conclusion? Anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. This is the last option. I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't ask her, but I want to see where this leads. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know, <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. I think I'll go have a look around. Oh. Kind of peaceful okay. out here, eh? So there's something I'm Enjoy supposed to be looking you for. Can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. All right. So, there's probably one more person I need to talk to before dinner. Talk to Danny. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. Really? My girl here. Really, like, really that like that guy? What's not to like? It's just a it's gun. It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. What are you talking about? Running this place with just How do one you run cow? run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I don't like this. You guys this. are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? 
Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper there. It'll be a good one. Why do I feel as though this is not going to be good? I haven't talked to Kenny yet, and I don't know how to... I don't know where to go talk to him, so... Uh, that might be the last person I need to talk to. I feel like some shit's gonna go down. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid. Wait, I have the multi tool. I have my whole family on this farm right now. I have the How multi tool. What about Clem? Uh. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. I have the multi-purpose through. through. I have the, the, oh, the, I have the multi-purpose through. Then what if it turns through. out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Can I use the tool? <gasps> yes! Uh, I'm not gonna take the lock apart. What? Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No! Why would you say that? Well, you're... You know... Urban? There's no way can you use the race card. There's no way. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, That's man, fuck. I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Yeah, racist. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking just out the checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know. I don't trust these home. guys. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, doc. I'm gonna fuck around with the door. Give me the door. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. I need him to distract Andy. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Okay. So I need to find something out of the barn. See, now I have. A, uh, now I have. Now I have something to actually do instead of talking. So how would I do that? Wait. Did I did I not do what I needed to? Fuck. Wait a second. There you go. Ow, damn it. Thing is moving fast. Can I turn it off? Ow, damn it. Thing is moving fast. There, that should do it. Close it. All right, let me go through. Let's see what's in behind this door. This is probably gonna lead to a lot of shit going down. Let close the door so he doesn't see. Of course, dinner's ready. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! 
Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Keep that thing off. Oh man, am I not gonna eat? Bro, am I gonna have to do this for all four? I am. Oh, there's more than that. Am I gonna put that back on? What's behind? Oh, shit. Oh, they kill people. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Uh-oh. Dinner time. Uh-oh. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Fuck. They even told us not to mess with that. Nah, they kill people. <laughs> oh, Brenda, Biscuit? you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Uh... Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. I don't trust her. She killed I Mark. I wash my hands first. Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Will do. Nah, they killed my boy Mark. What? Can I go upstairs? Why did I hear somebody say help? Hello? Ah, shit. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. The controls, man. What's in here? Look at how morphine. What do they need so much morphine for? Candles. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Musty as hell. They have a lot of morphine. What? Is that why there's not so many people here? Who's in here? Where the hell is Mark? Thought Brenda said he was up here resting. He's not. Is that blood? Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. These are murderers. They mur they murder people. They killed my boy Mark. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Oh. What the hell? Can I now move the... Can I now move the bookshelf? Yep. This bookshelf looked a little too familiar here, man. This is gonna make a lot of noise. Really? Oh, let's see what horrors I'm about to see. Oh my god. Lee. Mark. What the hell happened? Uh, they cut off his legs? Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. <laughs> Clementine. They're eating Mark. Oh my god. They're cannibals! Oh shit! Clementine! No! Lee! Lee, Jesus man, did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee! This lady has made you a meal! 
Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He That's... Had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quite what is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. Oh, sh bro, they're eating Mark. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He oh. would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural <sighs> Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We Jesus! You're all sick. Sick in the head. Y'all are eating That's Mark. That's a very nice thing to imply. Fuck you, you're eating a human. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways. One way or another. Like y'all. Oh shit. Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere. Ah oh, shit. We got lots of use for y'all right here. God damn it. What uh, the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, uh, what did I eat? Somebody do something! <laughs> Lee? Lee? Ah, oh, shit! Okay, yeah, you fucked up big time. You fucker! I'll tear you apart! Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Is is Mark crawling down? Mark's gonna crawl down as a zombie. Please. Uh, someone. Ah. <gasps> Y'all are eating Mark. Come on. Uh. Shit. Open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here. <laughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! <laughs> you sick <gasps> fucking bastards! Oh no. Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the Me, goddamn Dad, door stop. down! What do they do? Are they poisoning us? It was a person. I ate meat from a person. Does that mean I'm gonna turn into. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. If he would have stopped us in time! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. Uh, what, happened? what happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. Lee, we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches. Get us out, you sons of bitches! Dad! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Ah, great. You're worse than the walkers. Dad, please. Could there be a hole behind these pallets? Move the pallets. No such luck. Damn. Okay. Please settle down. Oh, I'll rip your goddamn heads off and, and make you swallow them. Meat. Uh, I don't want to know what kind. Come on. Try oh yourself. my god. There's Marvelous on the way! I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, 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 Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? Oh, shit, is he dead? Yo? No. Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. Oh no. If he's dead. He's not dead. You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. 
But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Not yet. We can't kill him if he's we not- We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember oh. what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come on. Fuck. Wake up. Wake up. Fuck. Come on. Let me help her. Lee. Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay. Let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Oh no. He's gonna kill her. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all Two. of us at risk, you son of a bitch! You're fucking worthless, Lee. Three. Four. No! Kenny! I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just. Kenny! Had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. To what? Bash this fucker's skull in? I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> oh my god. Is it over? I'm sorry, Clementine. Yeah. Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? You're walkie-talking. You walkie those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? Yes. We found a way out? I gotta find- He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. Kenny, he made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but he was trying to keep us safe. Bullshit. He cares about keeping his family safe. He doesn't give a shit about you and he me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. Oh my... Okay, okay let's, uh... Let's, there ought to let's be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. How do we... Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Don't the I have the tool? tool? They didn't of take my tool. they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. Anybody got a coin? I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. I need a Listen, coin. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well... I got nothing. God damn it, Kenny. I didn't like him just as much as you did, but fucking hell, bro. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But I need a coin. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver or a coin or something. No. <sighs> What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. He did, he did. You want my blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. It'd be his left, his left pocket. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. 60 cents. Man, why do I have to keep looking at it? That's crazy. All right, cool. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. God damn. Imagine using flathead screws. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Oh, hold your horses there, Kenny. <sighs> Clementine's gonna be There's the only no way one. out, Lee. Uh. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Ah, shit. Clementine, I'm gonna need you to be strong there, girl. I know you're brave enough. 
I'm scared. Remember yeah, we are, the treehouse? Right. You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yep. You gotta do it again. Okay. You got this, Clementine. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. All right, you got this, Clem. Bro, there's a lot that happened. Man, there's a lot that happened. We we ate. We met a cannibal crew. Mark got shot. His legs got cut off, and we shot a woman. Like, holy! This just this is just gonna have a lot of shit going. On. And this is only episode two. I believe there's four more. Come on, you got this. Yay! Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Kenny! Oh my god. Lily, we gotta go. Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Alright. Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Get out. We, we we need to go. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. <laughs> Look at our dead daughter. Our dead... Not daughter. Father. Fuck! I wanna... I guess I... Um... I guess I have to find something? Taser. Okay, I got the taser. Now can I go? Just sneak up on him. No, okay, I can't. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Oh, shit. Okay, go. Alright, let me slowly creep up on this man. Hey, what are you doing outside the barn? Oh, shit. Just guarding the place, like you said. Keep sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. What's he doing out there? I don't and know. And kill the rest. Can I pick which one to keep in my hand? Not your kid. Do you have a weapon? Yeah, good. But keep it simple. As soon as he passes us, uh, jump from behind. Oh, I know. See what he's doing now. This is my hey, favorite keep your eye on him. When I let one think they can just walk right out. What the fuck? Oh! Damn, I'm dead. Well, oh, I'm deaf. Oh, shit. Hey, man. Oh, oh. yep, there's a uh, there's. There's homeboy. He's gonna be deaf. Get a gun, get a gun, get a gun, gun, gun. Uh, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. Really? I'll fucking kill you right now. Cannibalism? Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking coward. This is gonna get graphic. No! Clementine witnessed what you did. God damn it. Clementine. Go, no. no. Gotcha. Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. I'm sorry, little one. Don't tell me one of them is getting eaten alive. I can't believe- We just met Mark, too. He was the dude that supplied us food. So there's just gonna be some- I guess there's gonna be some uh, characters that are gonna be here just to die. Alright, we didn't, we didn't know- We don't know much about Kenny. But that motherfucker died. Oh, walkers. Whoa. 
Oh! Hello! Carly! Lee? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. I need, you. need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Uh, Mary's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Bet. Ben, stick I love how she keeps, Ellie, she stays trapped. All right, cool. Hell yeah. Right, how do how, how would I do this? Oh, uh, I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Settle down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy, Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Lee, get back! Don't come in here. You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Let her go, Brenda. Oh shit. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. Where's you know you son? don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Where, where's her son? Stop right there. I mean it. Oh, I told you to stop. I told you. Good to know. That's what happens if you move. Brenda. Ay, ay, ay. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. What do I do? Don't shoot. Stop right there. I mean it. Okay. Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Wait, I see the walker. You're gonna let me keep going to you? Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! Alright. Let her go, Brenda. Please, listen to it. Please. If I keep moving forward, she's going to move back. I don't want to kill you, Lee. You don't want to kill me? Please don't make this any worse. If Just I stop. If I threaten her, then it will go wrong. She doesn't know that the zombie's there. All right. How are you going to let me get this close? I said, don't move, asshole! Don't you fucking hurt him! Oh my god! Let him go, goddammit! <laughs> that ain't gonna happen! Oh no. Andy, don't! Shut up! Ah! Oh! <sighs> oh shit. Andy! Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! You're eating people. You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh. You did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Damn! Oh, shit. Fight of the century. Ooh, damn. At least that part wasn't electrified. Damn. Damn. Get up! Get the fuck up! Ah shit! Ah shit! Spam it! Spam it! Spam it! Spam it! Spam it! Bro, brother! Oh fuck! 
God damn. Let me beat him up. Let me beat him up. Let me beat him up. What the hell is this camera angle? Oh god. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dan and Mama get out here! You, you all fucked. <laughs> Your mama's dead, and so they're both dead. They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee. This is <laughs> this is some. What? What? Get back here and finish this, Lee. Nah, man, I'm good. Nah. I'm going here. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee. You spared him. Lee! Wait, maybe I should have killed him. Oh, fuck. They're getting in. Ah, oh, damn. Maybe I should have. He's go. This is gonna bite me in the ass. There's his mama. Damn. Damn, what an episode! Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Yeah, if you I... hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were Very they true. really killing people? For food? Yeah. Yeah, and Clementine ate some. Oh, it's my fault. I panicked and didn't stop her. Oh my god. Does she know? She's not stupid, Carly. <sighs> yeah. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. The camera? Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he ain't looking too good. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Oh no. How are you gonna survive that? There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You murdered Larry. You murdered Larry. Fuck you, man. You're alive because of me. Why didn't you have my back? I saved your wife and kids. No, I saved them by making sure Larry didn't kill us. Really? You're gonna... I couldn't do it, Ken. Yeah, I was asking. Well, wow. maybe we should stay out of each other's way for a while. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I, I shouldn't have done that. They were very bad men, Clementine, but that doesn't mean I had to kill them. Why did you? I, I wasn't thinking. I, I was angry. I was scared. But I did the wrong thing. You should I never know. kill anybody unless you absolutely have to, okay? Okay. If I had left them alive, that would have been hey, bad. Dad, what's that noise? 
a storm. Sounds like a car. Oh, Raiders. God. Not more strangers. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh, oh damn it, I forgot the whole homeboy's name. Hello? Approach the car slowly. Whose car is this? Vegas. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. Oh, damn. Interesting. This feels like a trap. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> hmm. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Oh, Dad, great. whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. But what if it's not? Oh, no. This what, is where the group separates. What if separates. it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Oh, no. But if we don't... Take it, then we won't have food. Fuck. Uh, they already seem like... We oh, fucking hell. This is actually a tough choice. I don't know why it is. We need the food. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I, I have to t take the tough choice here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. We'll survive without it. The hell we will. We'll find a way. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Alright. What you gotta do, man? Okay, what have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. That's a lot of shit. Maybe I should have said take it. Got it? Yeah, I got it. That's a lot of stuff. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. No? Okay. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? <laughs> You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Did they record their killings? Oh, shit. What's on the tape? Oh, shit. They were, they were recording us this entire time. Clementine's mom? I don't know. That was Clement this is Clementine's mom and she they shot her. I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I'm thinking it. your 
are safe. Sitting there, acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. People who do. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Shit, I, I should have stayed. Is this Clementine's mom? Yeah, this is gonna leave me in a big cliffhanger. That was uh that was episode two of The Walking Dead. If you're in this series, please let me know down in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Take care and I love y'all. Bye bye.